Katrina Lucas. I'm a primary teacher at Cumberland Park Primary in Falkirk and I'm recently arrived back in school having had two years on secondment with Education Scotland as a Scots Language Coordinator. Scots is one of the three Indigenous languages of Scotland, the other two of course being English and Gaelic and there are a huge number of native Scots speakers in Scotland who don't necessarily realise they're speaking Scots because it's not been validated. Part of my role was to look at what people are speaking and tell them, yes, there is a value to what you're doing and in nursery, more important than anywhere else because we're trying to encourage good vocabulary work, good communication skills and that level of personal identity and engagement with their community and that's what comes through with Scots. You can encourage children to develop their vocabulary in both Scots and English by sharing a Scots book. They're good for a cuddle, whether it's a bosey or a cuddle or a hug. Picture books are wonderful. Translations are great. If you've got a favourite story in English, look and see if you've got a Scots equivalent. The Gruffalo has been translated into a variety of different Scots regional dialects and so there's bound to be something that will suit you. So there are all these Gruffalos roaming around Scotland at the moment each one with their own distinct variety of Scots. Scots and song is also really, really important, helping develop phonological awareness, the idea of rhythm and rhyme, as well as the fun element, and it's important in terms of Scottish culture. I'm not saying forget about English by any means, but what I am saying is give Scots some respect and have a look at it in terms of how can I enrich my child's vocabulary and how can I engage them with talking about language and engaging with literacy.